Hello. Hello. Hey guys, this is Lawson, live from NYC. <laughs> Hope you're okay. We're just chilling here in the studio. In um, where are we, boys? We're in the Google buildings. We're in the Google buildings in uh, downtown Manhattan. Is it downtown? Are we downtown? Yeah. yeah. We're getting yeah, a nod. We're there's getting a, a nod. There's a guy going, you know what? Yeah, Nearly. it's close Nearly. enough. Yeah, we're downtown. I'm not entirely sure where we are. That sounds cool. So we're downtown Manhattan. Yeah, we'll go. We're going to play a few songs here, and you're going to send us in some questions, uh, and we're going to answer them. We'll do our best to answer as many as possible. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, let's do a song. Let's play. Do a song. We did a gig last night here in New York, so we are still recovering. So bear with <laughs> us. Ready? Yeah. her hands in mine I feel them shaking I look into her eyes and I tell her it's gonna be alright and I'm never ever gonna make you cry I'll fix your broken heart make it beat again I'll never let you down only you can depend and I tell her that we'll always be this way Every day that she's the one that makes me want to say Superb. Should we do some questions then? Yeah. There we go. go. Latifa is the first question. Is that Queen, Queen Latifa? Latifa? I, I think, think as I you think both Queen thought it at the same time. I think it has mm. to be. It has to be Queen yeah, Latifa. Well, it's lovely to speak to you, Queen Latifa. How's the US tour going so far? It's we, not really we, a tour. We do like to yeah. say it's a tour. No, it is a tour. Like three days. Like yeah, yeah, we yeah. like to call it a tour. It's not really a tour. No, but, um, we, it's, it's awesome. We had uh, a gig in LA last Thursday at the Troubadour, which was this cool rock and roll venue. Still got my band on there, look. Yeah. Zoom in on band. that, baby. Troubadour. There and we go. We absolutely loved Super. it. We're a big fan of the LA fans. Um, very polite, mm. weren't they? Very polite as people. And, uh, and pretty crazy when we did the gig. And then uh, we did the Bowery Ballroom here in New York last night, which was absolutely awesome. So thanks to everyone who's bought a ticket. It does mean the world to us. It's wicked to be able to come so far away and do, do shows and stuff, and we're absolutely loving it. And hopefully we'll get to come back and do some more places. Chicago, maybe we'd like to do Chicago. That'd be nice. Mm, that'd and, be uh, nice. San Fran. Uh, San Fran, yeah. San Diego. San Fran. <laughs> <laughs> All the sands. Should we do another question? Yeah. Uh, Becca Pete. Will you guys do a tour after the Chapman Square tour? And what do you want to achieve this year? No, yeah. we're never, we're never going to do a tour after the Chapman we Square. We'll never tour again. <laughs> I'm hang my For those of you up. who don't know, the Chapman Square tour is happening in February and March this year in the UK. Um, mm. Starts in Manchester in the UK on the 21st and goes straight through till the <laughs> something of March in I'll Dublin. I'll tell you, wait, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It goes straight through and we end in Dublin, of all places, on the 23rd of March. Hello. Which... I'm excited about. We do I like do Dublin. Love, we love Ireland. But we will be doing more tours after that. It's a good question, Becca. We'll be doing lots of tours. Should we do one more and then go into another song? Or? I think that's no, some more questions. Let's, Two not, more, rush. Three Let's more. not rush. Okay, cool. Uh, what else have we got? Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, yeah. So where has been, been the best place, place to perform and why? why? Tough question when we're going out to so many yeah, people. I, I don't think, want to offend anyone. Yeah, I don't know. There's so many places that we love playing. 
I think this week in LA and New York's been incredible. But then again, you can't compare to your home crowd. So. Do you know what? I'm I'm really looking forward to the first show of the Chapman Square. So I'm looking forward to Manchester. That'd be fun. I love I love the Manchester fans. We actually sold. We're nearly on, on the way to selling out two dates at Manchester, which is pretty incredible. So I can't wait to play Manchester. That's mm. one of my favourite places to go. One of. Be good. Adam, where did you, where did your love of planes come from? From Beth. Addison. What? What? So your love of planes came from Beth? My love of planes came from Beth. Good no, God. I don't know where it came from. I just remember going on holiday as a kid. And I enjoyed being on the plane. And then uh, one day I got taken into the cockpit, which was a great experience. Oh, wow. And you know how I got in the cockpit? I drew a picture of the plane and said I wanted to give no, that to did. the pilot. And then me giving that picture of the plane to the pilot That's pretty was cool. my ticket in. Me and you have actually got a, uh, a little a, a little experience. We have, haven't we? We yeah. are going on the uh, the blue boats, I want to say. No, yeah, we'll call them that. The blaze. The blue, the blue, we go, basically, it's like the red arrows. And we're going in some stunt planes and doing blade some... Blades sounds good. The yeah, blades, blade yeah. Sounds good. We're doing we're, some stuff. We're stunts. basically gonna get scared a lot. Yeah. And get flown upside down in some big jets. Um what else Don't are we doing? Die. Else are, Holly, if you weren't in Lawson, what would you be doing? Adam would be a pilot. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Something to do with planes. Yeah, yeah, that'd work out. I think I'd I'd be some kind of art thing. Technician. Yeah, maybe <laughs> technician. You know, yeah, why not? Would you work in cranes? <laughs> like the rest yeah, you know. <laughs> Big uh, family history in cranes, so I'd both you <laughs> put me up there on a crane. Ten people just left the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'd, I'd want to be like, I'd still be in music. I'd be, I'd, I'd be like a session musician or something. Like what about you, like Andy? That. What would you be doing? Um, I'd probably be um, maybe like a, a teacher. <laughs> what a teacher? <laughs> a t- yeah. I can't think of a worse teacher. This is coming from the man no, the like other a P, day. A P teacher. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is a good point, actually. Yeah. A PE teacher would be good. Yeah, Any other sort of teacher, teacher would be probably not the best. Oh, no. I'd be a great PE teacher, though. You, you, know, you, you know what he couldn't be? A geography teacher. Oh, no. God. I'd Very rarely like knows where he is in the world. But uh, I, general I haven't studies been in Hollywood teacher. last week. I, I'd, I'd quite like to get into a bit of acting. Oh, you know nice. what I mean? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? When in Rome. When in Rome. Exactly. Do, as the, do as the actors do. When in Hollywood. What else have we got? April Gant wants to know, who has left you starstruck after meeting them? Ryan? Any starstruck moments recently? John Bon Jovi. I was pretty starstruck. But he was he made us feel quite comfortable. Like he did make us feel very comfortable, but still, as as, a, as an idol of mine, he uh, he, he left me starstruck. Yeah, I'm not nice guy. Not yeah. um, I think I was pretty I was pretty starstruck when Taylor Swift came and said hello to us. Yeah, that was pretty week. mad. That was we we're all big fans of her, and uh, she came up and she's a fan of the band as well, which is cool. Mm. So I, I'd say I was pretty starstruck with that one. What about you, Andy? Uh, maybe Ronnie Wood. That was yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, that was a good a big one. one. Big idol of ours. Ronnie's a great guy as Ad, well. Ad, who's left you? Uh, Robbie Williams. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, uh, Robbie. A great selection of idols. Great, great selection. Great idols. We've met quite a few cool people, and here's to meeting more. We still haven't met John Mayer. I thought we were going to meet John Mayer. We were rehearsing in a room in LA next door to Katy Perry, and I thought John Mayer might have popped in, you know, said mm. hello. He didn't, though. No, he God didn't. Said, devastated. Next time, maybe. Next time. Um, right. Petra, what is your songwriting process? How do you come up with the ideas? Does the music or lyrics come first? Andy, as the as the songwriter of the band, would you care yeah. to explain to Petra your process? Good question, that Petra. Uh, it usually um, starts with an acoustic guitar, similar to like this, maybe like a. I was walking down the street, you know what I mean? Maybe <laughs> just like a, a vibe. Uh, Why don't you <laughs> sing a song now about walking down the street? Okay, so we go. I was walking down the street. Trying to find somewhere to go And I walk down the wrong road <laughs> Something like that, you know what I mean? We're walking down the wrong road well, but it's you know, terrible. Keep it going, that. keep it going uh, no, yeah, I think that's the end of the song It's just two chords and then it, it Yeah, finishes. or usually it'll start with a lyric You know, when she was mine That starts from a lyric um, So yeah, it depends what sort of vibe you're in What sort of, uh, you know What you want Sometimes the piano it's nice. Yeah. Sit yeah. down at the piano, write a song on there. You've been learning, getting piano lessons, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You I, played, I played on the last tour, but I want to get better. I want to be like, you know, Elton John. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Would you say you are a, a pianist? No, I'm not, I wouldn't say I was. I'd say I was more of a guitarist. I'd say so you're and a saxophonist. I'd, I'd, I'd say, say you're, you're definitely a, a pianist. A really <laughs> big, I'd yeah. say you're a big pianist. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Would you say you're a saxophonist? Or? I'd that, no, but I will be one day. Okay, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Ellie Gowers. Hey, lad. <laughs> Ellie Golden. If you could listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? 
It would be that song Andy just sang about walking down the long road. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you've won song for the rest of your life, yours would be something Bon Jovi. Oh, yours would know. be something by probably the Fallout Boy or Coldplay. Probably Coldplay. Coldplay. Andy, yours would be something by the Beatles. Yeah, mine would yeah, be, hey, okay, be going soon, all right. Mine would be In Your Atmosphere by John Mayer. Would it? Yeah. Bold? It's I, my fa- I, it's my I, fa- I was going well. with what I would assume you'd it's all do. Uh, the rest of your life. At the moment, yeah. yeah. Maybe this time next year I'll, I'll hate it, but... I I, uh, I do love that song. <laughs> oh, it's a great song. Just teasing um, it with the riff there. That again, please. That was nice. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. nice. Very nice. Just just, te- um, just teasing it. Yeah. Just leave it there. <laughs> Mine would probably be John Mayer as Let well. Let uh, Sophia Whittle, where is your dream gig? My dream gig is. Is it Whittle or is it Vittle? Vittle. Vittle. <laughs> From now on, it's Vittle. Definitely Sophia Vittle, I'd say. Um, Where's your dream? My dream gig is just actually over the road. Just over the road, Madison Square. It's over there, Madison Square. I don't there think it's it over there. There's a lot of. It's very Where foggy today in New York. We just did drive just past the MSG before. That's what we've, we've got to call that MSG. Whilst we're in NYC. <laughs> NYC MSG. LOL. Cinebit. Um, Red Rocks Red Amphitheater. Rocks. I've always wanted to play that place. That's a pretty cool venue. That's. I'd love to do that one. Um, Staples Centre Staples Centre is another one yeah. great well, venue Muse played that whilst we were in LA three nights three nights <laughs> what other artists have you been listening to lately any recommendations uh, yes Hunter Hayes uh, we've been listening to a lot of country music whilst we've been over here and Hunter Hayes album is absolutely awesome so if you haven't got that go get it there's a great song there called uh, Wanted. Wanted which we love we do love it um, Sean what do you miss most when you're away from the UK I miss my, my family. Yeah, I miss my family as well. Don't but miss the weather loved ones. as much. Yeah. Loved, loved ones, ones and family. Should we keep answering or do we, do I think, we play I think, a song? I think we should, should play a song. Should we do another song? Yeah. What do you want to do? I think we should play a, a song maybe off our, our, off our album Chapman Square. Yeah. Our yeah. single maybe? Or uh, latest or first? Our latest single? I don't know. Let's play our latest yeah. single yeah. in the UK. There's a place in love It's cold enough on grow We've seen the dark And the darkness took us all And the journey waits for no one If no one breaks the bone And our hearts are stronger than we know
I like what we did at the end there. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that was our single over in the UK at the minute. That was Learn to Love Again. People in the States are actually quite quite liking that song, aren't they? I've heard it. Possible single. Mm-hmm. I ain't saying. I'm, I'm just, just... Who knows? Saying. Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? Um, right. Annie. We've got a question from Annie now. Who wants to know, how did the group come together and where did we all meet? It's a very good question by Annie. Yeah? Do you like the question, Ed? Because I feel like you want to answer it. I like it well. Speak into your show. Uh, am I sure? Are you sure you want to speak into your show? Basically, it uh, started about four and a half years ago. Uh, I was at a music college in Brighton, and then uh, I finished my course there, and I saw Andy's acoustic MySpace page, and he had some acoustic tracks up there. How did the acoustic tracks go, Andy? Right. <laughs> this is taking us back. <laughs> 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 Just... Just like that, <laughs> and that and was it. That. I that heard was it. that, and I was like, "That's the guy." Did that blew you away. That's with, what literally. blew you away. I yeah. went through so many MySpace pages, and I finally heard that. <laughs> My name's Andy, and I've got a MySpace page. <laughs> That's the song Literally how it went. Literally. So I sent him a message saying, Andy, I've just heard your song called My Name's Andy, and I've got a MySpace page. I really love it, but I feel like it's missing drums. So yeah, drum for you. And basically, I came so along and I was like. My name's Andy And then I got involved I got a MySpace page My name's Andy I got a MySpace page Yeah Basically, so that's what happened when me and Andy met up We kind of did that and he said I like it, but I want some bass So uh, we kind of got Ryan Stein involved Yep, and that's when I came in with it but we were like, we were like, you know, as lovely as Ryan's bass is, and, that's and, my, and my drumming is, so and Andy's vocals are, I was just missing some lead guitar. What was it missing lead guitar? It was missing lead guitar. guitar. But you knew someone, didn't you? Yeah, and then I said to Joel, Joel, do you want to come in? And then it sounded more like... Three, four. Oh. Like that, you know what I mean? And that is the story of how the band started, really. So basically, we did that, and then we went on tour. We just say what just happened. <laughs> yeah, no. I actually We've quite never liked done that, that before. So I that actually was, quite uh, enjoyed that. I enjoyed it, but it basically, should be a good. song. We went touring inspired. around the UK, like for three years in pubs and clubs, playing that that sort of stuff, <laughs> and it didn't go down very well. So we decided to. Uh, and yeah. then it wasn't called. The song was no longer called. My name is Mandy. Uh, Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> it was no longer called. My name is Andy. We have a MySpace page. It was more like. Our name is Lawson. We got a MySpace page. Our name is Lawson. Yeah, we got a Facebook page. Yeah, our name is Lawson. We got a Twitter page. Yeah, my name is Lawson. Yeah. Is all it? those pages we yeah. even had the Bebo. We, we, <laughs> we got signed off the back. Go, <laughs> and um. <laughs> And then, yeah, and then our, our good friend and manager, Aaron, found us uh, on a beach in Brighton. And he said, my name is Aaron, <laughs> and I'm looking for a band. Sorry, yeah, he didn't really. <laughs> too much now, too much. Too much, too yeah. far, Tony. What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done for you? Actually, yeah. last night, Yeah. Joel and Ryan had a couple of fans waiting outside their room, hotel room, so if you, if not you, the hotel if room. They found out, I don't know how they figured out which room we were in. Because you got out the lift and walked to it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't even know how they figured out what floor we were on. Yeah, but they, they were in the lift with you. No, they weren't. No, no they, they weren't. weren't. They, they, weren't. they took the stairs. Right. They were, they, and how did they get up the stairs that quickly? That was a mystery. That that, that mystery. really is. So if you, if you, you're probably not going to tell us, but that, that was that was really impressive. Was that impressive. was kind of weird. But that was weird. And they bought you some uh, some Black Jack Daniels, which was nice. Uh, and, and handcuffs. And handcuffs. And a whip as well. And a whip, yeah. Which is kind of weird, because... Me and you were sharing a room, so yeah. I don't know what their intentions were. We just went in the room and didn't speak about it. <laughs> about <sleep>. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. The anyway, only thing that um, so what's the, mo- what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on stage? I fell over at Wembley Stadium. Yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't the best. You also um, went AWOL at the middle of a gig in London. 
Yeah. Halfway through the set. Sick note. Remember? I did. That was yeah. very true. You went yeah. AWOL. I, th- I threw up on stage. Uh, actually, just off stage. But uh, I just made it. And uh, Joel played bass for the rest of the yeah. set. And it was a, it was a success. Play bass. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually a really good bass player. I was like, my name's Joel. Should we do another song or should we do another question? Just some more questions. Let's do Casey. What's Casey? Casey, what would be your dream collaboration, dead or alive? Yeah, I always think it'd be awesome to have Freddie Mercury be able to sing one of our songs. Imagine, imagine a duet. Queen. Either that or like even Brian May playing a guitar solo would just be there's such a like so recognisable, like do you know what I mean? Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. Elvis Presley. Saying that whilst we're in New York as well, we visited the um the John Lennon Memorial uh Strawberry Fields in Central Park. Which would which would which would be awesome. That John would be Lennon. awesome. You know what I mean? What Imagine else? what he could go into a songwriting session with John Lennon or something like that, come out with magic. Great, great lyrics, inspirational. Uh, what is the one place you haven't been that you'd like to play? Nashville for me. Yeah, Nashville would be so great. I was talking to someone else, we're here about Nashville and uh, just saying how great all the music was there, so we'd love to go. Uh, what about you boys? Also Australia. Or Australia? Yeah, Australia, I'd love to go. New Zealand. I've got family in New Zealand. My yeah. uncle lives in New Zealand. Really? I'd love to visit. I don't say New Zealand anymore. <laughs> New Zealand, New Zealand. What about you, Ryan? Where, where would you like, if anywhere that you've not been? Nashville. Ooh, yeah, Nash- I, I agree with you on Nashville, to be honest, but to try cool. and think of somewhere somewhere different, because you've already said Nashville. Um, something like Brazil would be good fun. I think, like, Rio. That'd be Nashville. Mm, that'd Rocking be nice. Rio. Yeah, yeah. Great shout. Ads. I think uh, when we were watching the Scripps live DVD, they did a massive stadium gig in South Africa. Yeah. And that Very looks nice. Like, that looks pretty cool. That looks awesome. Yeah? Cool. Um... Angie Felicia, what's your favourite football team? I hope I pronounced your name right, by the way. Uh, what's your favourite yeah. football team? And are you going to come to Indonesia this year? Mm. Well, well, I got this off a fan last night and I've still not taken it off. I've kept it on. And this shows you what football team I support. It's the Liver bu- bird there. I was going to say the Liver Buildings. The Liver Buildings. <laughs> You've got them on your wrist. The Liver Bird, Liverpool FC. For me. Big Liverpool fan. And I do try and get the lads to support Liverpool too. I'd say we're honorary for Liverpool supporters. Mm. We're Back behind default. you, in, even though we do like to see you fail. Yeah, you do. Um, oh, he's a man, though. Not I'm, I'm quite person. gutted that you that you beat Mansfield. To be fair, that's that's gonna haunt me forever. Um, we do want to come to Indonesia this year. We'd love to come to Indonesia this year. We've got some plans to come out that way. So uh, fingers crossed. You never know, and uh, you'll be the first to find out. Nice one. Good question. All-time mm. favorite TV show. Friends. Yeah, Friends is a big one. Yeah. Tell you what, a great bit of TV that's been recently, not my favourite of all time, but we've been uh, captured by Homeland. Oh, oh yeah. Recently. Oh. Live changing stuff. It's uh, Carrie Matheson. It's it's intense. It is. It's intense. Incredible. It's brilliant. But um, yeah, that's great. As well. And a, yeah, yeah, a great, yeah, great. I would I would strongly that. recommend watching Homeland if you haven't already. Mm. Cara, what do you think each other's worst habits are? The most of them are just Ryan's, to be fair. Yeah. We're, we're all perfect people apart from Ryan. I'll take that. Yeah. Most things I do in life. He doesn't listen. People. He likes to set his alarm. For, he gets up earlier than me. He, he sets his alarm for earlier than me, but gets up later. I that have to come around. Sense. Do you know what I mean? So I he's to he, get used he, to the world around snooze me. mode is, is quite annoying, actually. And one time, I'm going to throw his phone out of the window. Yeah. Um... What song? He likes to Jack sell fish as well. He does like to oh, sell fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, a he's, a, he's a good. He goes down the market fish. early doors around <coughs> seven a.m. Yeah, sells comes back fish on the market. Stinking of fish. Exactly. Trying to call me selfish. Stuff. Very selfish. <laughs> Very selfish. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, Jaya, what song do you wish you'd yeah. written? Yeah, maybe <laughs> soft J. Yeah. Yeah. Higher. Higher. Um, what song do you wish you'd written? Probably um, for me. Um, more Than Words by Extreme. Love that song. Something. Yeah, by The Beatles. George Harrison, classic. I love that song. Thriller. <laughs> by Michael Jackson. Yeah. Can you imagine if you Quincy came to the Jones band and went, there. guys, I've got this idea, right? <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> uh. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, there's a bass line. That it just goes all the way through, doesn't it? I'll just come to, I'll come to the band with some bass lines. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a bass line, give me a bass line, we can work with that. 
Nah, it's <laughs> it done. <laughs> you never heard that one before. While we're on the Michael Jackson subject there, Jimmy, I thought I'd throw a few more Yeah, no, I, I, I genuinely, that's a really good one, actually. Yeah, nice, mate, very nice. A lot of the Michael Jackson songs. What about you? Great uh, bass fix playing. You by Coldplay. Fix You by Coldplay, yeah. another classic song. Um... <laughs> Benji wants to know if we play any other instruments. Well, as we were saying earlier, yeah. Benji, uh, Andy's trying his hand at piano at the minute. He's having some lessons, getting better for uh, upcoming tours and stuff. Joel plays the bassoon, doesn't he? We all play a bit of each other's I've never played the bassoon. We, really? Yeah, we all, we all like to take a... We can both play a bit of bass. Ryan can play guitar as well. Play a bit of drums. Yeah, I'm actually going to play a bit, of, a bit of guitar. You know? I'm going to learn the, the pedal steel. I've that been inspired by the, the country music out here, and I want to learn how to play the pedal steel, so that's going to be a long and... Grueling process, but I will get there. Um, Tanya wants to know what advice do you have for those who want to make a career out of music? Andy, I feel like you should take this one. Okay, uh, I'd say get your stuff up online. Get it, get it, get it up on uh, MySpace, Facebook. Uh, get some videos on YouTube, some current covers. You know, cover your favourite songs. Get them up on YouTube there. Put video responses, you know. Get subscribers. Get a bit of a buzz going online. Then maybe put on a gig. Get some people down. And, uh, yeah, just gig as much as you can. Just get a general buzz around the, you know, the project. And I would say the that project. would be the, uh, the, that would be good advice. That's how we That's how great how advice. We started. Yep. Yeah. Social media is all the way. Can we play a song? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Okay, this is our first single in the UK. It's called When She Was Mine.
Cool. Okay, what have we got next? Kenny, what do you do in the van when you're on the road to pass the time? We like to have a lot of chats, don't we? We talk a lot together and um, discuss some... I don't life know, like discuss life. Life, yeah? love. And, uh, a bit of that and a bit of we also watch a lot of stuff like... Three L's. Homeland. Yeah. Homeland's yes. on. Homeland's on. Homeland's 24, b- that's another one that we watch loads on the van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We also watch quite a lot of national... The Wire. The Wire. Yeah, we watched that one. Yeah. yeah. That's a great one. And Bear well. Grills. Bear Grills gets a Bear Grills yeah, plays yeah. a big part well, in Ross the Kemp. Empire, Ball Ross Kemp. Empire as well, we've been watching a yeah, lot. Yeah, Boardwalk Ball Empire. Empire. Just everything. That's our favourite at the minute, actually. There's well, also that other big one, Prison Break. Watch that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ryan likes to play a lot of video games as well. I yeah, do. I'm I've yeah. recently completed Pokemon Leaf Green in the in the in the tour bus. That was a that was a big day for me. Um, <laughs> American Horror Story. Been watching that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Ma- Mario Kart four player. Marie, each of you, if you could only choose three things to bring with you on a trip to an island, what would they be? Mario right. Kart, if you'd like to start us off, Mario Kart. Yeah. Four what controllers. Else? N64. Okay, well, there's like Mario one thing Kart. each, so you'd have to maybe bring Mario Kart. No. The N64. Isn't that a package, and a contro- though? Nah. Yeah, no. mate, they used to do a Mario. Yeah, you definitely get a package. Yeah, I got a package. Yeah. Includes a little flat screen TV in there as well. Yeah, package. We're going to yeah. have to consult Marie on the rules of that particular question. Um, cause <laughs> yeah, I just, just sure dead, that's fine. Yeah, that's above fine. board. It's got to be a phone, though, some kind Mindset. of smartphone. Yeah, 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 yeah it's fine. fine. It's fine, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Just so you got all your apps. Yeah, I mean. Well, I'd like to take a charger. You um, can be another option. Yeah, it's a package. <laughs> yeah, package deal. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to take. Uh, I'd probably take a guitar, to be honest, because not only could you play the guitar, you could maybe also use the guitar to escape the island. How? So maybe write songs as well. Yeah. Hey, going soon, you know. <laughs> what off the island? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long you been on the island? Um, Ad, what, what would you like to take with you? Ah. How long have you been on the island? I'd like to take. A, I'd like to take a boat. Boat. A speedboat. A speedboat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the option to leave whenever you want. Really. Yeah, I really like that. That's good. <laughs> Katie. Or a, or a helicopter. Yeah. yeah. Katie Frieden. Frydenberg. Frydenberg, yeah. What was your best and wor- great name? What was your worst <laughs> and best subject in school? Best subject was probably PE. My worst subject was geography. <laughs> my, my worst subject was PE. And, uh, no, my worst subject was actually maths. Yeah, oh, same. Math. I hated really, math. Really clicked with I hated my math teacher as well. <laughs> what was his name? Her name. Her name. What's Can't name? remember. I blocked her out of well, memory. Come on, this is your chance. You must have. You must remember. Remember, remember, remember my math teacher, Miss Patterson. She was great. Remember her name. But if you're watching, you're an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't like you. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what came over me. But yeah, um, I honestly don't remember her name. <laughs> She oh, knows. Oh, that was brilliant. She oh, knows. I love her to be watching. <laughs> I hope she is watching now. That'd you never know, dear. You never know. You can only hope. Um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> My <laughs> best subject was art. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Walker. What would you Rapping. think to him? And music. Oh, you're a legend. Yeah. I love Mr. Walker. Hey, who's, your, yeah. who's your music teacher? I always found music um, teachers Miss Day and Mr. Bud. <laughs> I always Mr. found Bud. like art teachers and music teachers were the best. <laughs> they were like proper yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly. And PE teachers as well. Or yeah, Mr. Shepard. He came to our gig in Liverpool. Did he, yeah? Did he? Mate, yeah. Sheppy lad. He was doing laps around the venue. <laughs> <laughs> Set up cones. Set up cones. Set up cones on the test. stage. <laughs> um, right. Jasmina, what's the first album you have ever bought? Um, Probably Oasis. Which Definitely one? Maybe. Oh, okay. Did that, did that come before What's the Story of Morning Glory? Yeah. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the one then, yeah. I got... Um, Slide we got we got uh, Robbie Williams' first album, Life Through a Lens. <laughs> that was a, good a great one. album. Did that album? Hold them up before I die. Nice song, I love that one. <laughs> yeah, great song. Yeah, I like the. Um... Yeah. Yep. Great groove. Um, Are you right? Mine was Limp Biscuit. A uh, chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water. Good Hot album, star, solid album. What was that? Uh, was it? Yeah, that was the song. Yeah, it was that one. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, that album. That was a good album. Uh, yeah, that was cool. What about you? Uh, um, I can't Pitts remember the first the album I actually got, but the first one I was obsessed yeah. with was uh, Robbie Williams' Escapology. I love that album. That was a great album. Yeah. Yeah. Just on, on the note of riffs. Yeah. I can't remember. Wow. Yeah, maybe we should Great become riff. like a Limp Biscuit cover band. I'm right? in. What do you reckon? Do you Come do on. Our death metal version no, of we actually <laughs> we figured out that we can do um, death metal now, and that I should have been in a death metal band. Um, we actually played a version of uh, Standing in the Dark the other day, and it was awesome. <laughs> it, it wasn't. Was, it was better than the original. Yeah. It was. It was pure it had, it had metal. This, it had this chord in it. Yeah, yeah. We need it amps. was solid. We need amps we need, yeah, we need, we'll play for you one time. Probably never. Um, <laughs> if you had to be another person for an entire day, who would it be? I'm, I'm going to give this one to you, Adam, because I feel like you want to be someone you're not. I'd be Megan Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> oh, God. Why? To uh, experience what being an actor slash actress is. Don't you think that that... His answer to that sounds a lot weirder with that chord. Yeah, <laughs> Megan I'd like Fox. to be a woman for a day. <laughs> I'd be. Oh, oh, oh that was nice. I'd be. Turn your. I'd be. Bradley Cooper. Oh, very sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. yeah. yeah. Interesting. He must be good. I'd, I'd, be, um, <laughs> I'd be Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> give, give me, a, give me a chord. So you, you, you're, you're, you're the I'll chord makers. Do you want a dark chord or a nice chord? I want, I want a, a sharp chord. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Oh, <laughs> Great chord. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Should you do one each again? I got yeah, yeah, I, I like that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do yeah. another one. Who else I've you got? got a good what one. You got? Give me a chord. You ready? Uh, dark, we, ominous or happy? Um, I'll give you a chord. Dark, ready? dark but important. Okay. Um, After three, ready? I've got a good one. One, two. Free. Obama. Obama. No, Obama needs to be more Obama, of a solid yeah, chord. Obama, Obama needs that to be chord like didn't sound like. <laughs> yeah, Obama. Obama. <laughs> Obama. Oh, Obama. He even needs bass. Yeah, he's the bass. president. He needs bass. Yeah. One, two, three. Obama. Obama. What is it? Ready? One, two, three, four. Obama. <laughs> Right. Um, yeah, let's move on. Um, yeah, let's move on. <coughs> yeah, that was good though. What good was the first lasted. song you ever played together as a band? It actually was. Very superstitious. Yeah, it's the first song you played ever as a band. Riders on the wall. Then I'm um, can you guys do an American accent? Can you Y'all was so great. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. terrible. Ryan, you can do it. Do, do the your... Texas one with the girl. I can't no, the one you had the hat on the other day came into the van. Oh, I, I just came to see a new band. I heard there was a live stream going on down here, so I just came down and brought my bass. <laughs> and I, uh, that's terrible. I can't even do it. I heard there was the, uh. That was pretty good, actually. Did you hear the American dad one? <laughs> what American dad one? Oh. <laughs> Imagine if I did. <laughs> bye bye, record deal. <laughs> um, oh. uh, <laughs> Morin, what do you look for in a girl? <clears throat> Andy, what do you look for in a girl? Um, Which big thing? sense of humour. Big sense of humour. Yeah, yeah, I love a big sense of humour. Um, <laughs> Wait, I've got one. What do you look for in a girl? <laughs> No, right, well, seriously, uh, yeah, just, just, you know what, confidence, need to be quite cute for me, I like a cute girl. Oh, walk you know. up to you, Joel, well, we're um, going, get in the van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was the song we sung yesterday? Af- oh, star, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> accidental. <laughs> Uh, no, I think we must look for like you know nice personality. You know what I mean, like <laughs> um, you know maybe like nice, 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 nice uh, golden hair, Likes brown rough. hair. You know, made of solid gold. Yeah, hair <laughs> sticks of Lady Gaga. That <laughs> nose. Um, yeah, that. So Jack, who was the coolest person you worked with on the album? 
Jack, the coolest person we were on the album by far was uh, a Mr. John Shanks. Yep. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> literally that's John Shanks in a riff. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. So uh, John Shanks, the coolest guy ever. Um, Paul Amalfa. Paul Amalfa. Oh, Jeff. Paul Amalfa. Jeff. Everyone on the team. It was everyone incredible. was Mike. awesome. To be fair, Mike. Mike. Mike guy. doesn't get enough love. Yeah. I like Mike. Mike. Great. Mike Horner. Yeah. Mike. We we just. Genuine name. Do you know what? We've had the pleasure <laughs> of working with some amazing people on the album, and it's 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 why we're so proud of the albums that so many cool people are on it, and um, a lot of inspirational people as well, which is yeah. awesome. Um, Christina, what are you looking forward to most in the next few months? I think coming to America more. Mm. Definitely also the tour. Chapman Square tour. Um, just just, just, just gigging. Loads of gigs. Yeah. As many gigs as possible, really. I think we're going to do uh, a lot more gigs in America as well. And um, yeah, it's going to be a couple of amazing months ahead. I think so. I think so. Yeah, it should be good. We're excited. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to do one more song. Um, thanks for checking out the live stream, yeah, guys. Thank thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun. Thanks to everyone at live stream for um, making this happen. It's been and awesome. And you actually got to see the first song we ever when we when we met the song we performed together as a band that yeah. wasn't the song we performed it was it was it was it was a tribute to the greatest song very tenacious d okay. <laughs> uh yeah so we're gonna do one more song for you uh, andy if you'd like to introduce the song for the, the lovely viewers of this live stream yeah if you want to sing along at home please do this is uh, our third single in the UK. This is called Standing in the Dark. Please sing along. Sitting here wide awake Thinking about when I last saw you I know you're not far away Close my eyes and I can see you Lying here next to me Wearing nothing but a smile Cracks along the pavement to see you face to face. Thinking about the conversation, no one I want to change. Never wanted nothing more. Let her walk up to your door. Yeah. I'm standing in the dark. Thanks guys. Thank you.